The Minister of Labour and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, has attributed the delay of the approval of the new minimum wage for Nigerian workers to the inability of the state governors to come up with an agreed figure. Now, Ngige, who also stated this at a press briefing in Obasi in the Idel Mili local government area of Anambra states, also said that there was no truth in the news that the federal government was planning to increase monthly allowance of court members. While stating that the committee saddled with the responsibility to work out the modalities for the new wage had been up and about, out, Ngige said the Nigerian Governors Forum had not been able to come up with any figure as minimum wage that they could pay. Describing the governors as critical partners in wage determination, Ngige said as an insider and as a realist, he would not want to give any date or month when the minimum wage is going to be implemented. This, he said, was because the process of fixing the new minimum wage was taking a little bit longer. Wow. Now, this is very interesting because just last week, the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Nigeria Governors Forum literally had a back-to-back -back on this matter at hand. The governors were coming out to state that we were employed to fix roads, to build schools, etc., and not to pay salaries. That was very controversial already in the media. The Nigerian Labour Congress, on the other hand, are saying, whoa, this is the minimum wage that we wanted to implement. And now we are finding a crossroads, and that is obviously of no surprise to us. Now, we've also heard rumors with regards to the um, increase of salary of the um, National Youth Service Corps members. We heard that it had been increased to 50,000 at some point, or it was going to be increased mm. to 50,000. And this rumor had been, has now been debunked by the Minister of Labor and Employment. When it comes to the argument for minimum wage, it's an argument that has been, it's an age-long argument. We've been on it for a while. Lots of people clamoring that you don't pay somebody 18,900 because there are still institutions where someone has gone to university, come out, serve their country, and they're earning within the ranks of the minimum wage. There's been disparities as to how much exactly, but what I don't understand is why they can't just fix a meeting and agree on an amount. It probably just buttresses the fact that they don't take the plight of the Nigerian people seriously. It's a it's a very serious issue, but I think it gets a bit deeper than that because even if we have a new minimum wage implemented, the problem will still remain. The primary essence of governance is security and welfare for your people, those two things. Now, no matter what someone's salary is, if you are not providing them with the primary essence of governance and your responsibility to give them the security and welfare that they need, the salary is still not going to be conducive enough for them because they're still going to have to pay out of pocket for things that they should not be paying out of pocket But while we're for. at it, we can't forget the fact that the prices of almost everything on the market mm -hmm. has increased. Absolutely. In the past few years, if you check the way the um, Naira to dollar ratio, you can see that there's been a massive increase. All of it our while... basic produce is like four times the price. So at the end of the day, people are being paid salaries that they were earning two, three years ago when things were way cheaper, when the dollar was still in the league of the 180-something Naira, 186 Naira. Now the dollar has risen twice as much, if not more, mm. and we're still paying people the same salaries, and people are still expected to take transport. Transport, of course, has increased. Feeding has increased. Even rent. Have you tried to look for a house in Lagos, Leila? But this it's is the crossroads that I'm expensive. telling you about. This is literally the crossroads I'm telling you so about. So the problem for me would be, before us, we're fixing. Mm. That job will not be a day's job. Fixing the country and ensuring that we provide security, stability, and all that will not be a day's job. Olive. These are the things we have been speaking about from time immemorial. Let's start by, as we're doing that, at least make life bearable for the average Nigerian. Olive, 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 please, look. These governors cannot even pay the current minimum wage to their people. These are governors who are still owing on the current minimum wage that we already have. Increasing the minimum wage is going to do what exactly? And this is why we keep, should not... Keep people without money for longer? We should not if even be If they can't bamboozled. even pay 19800 how are they going to start paying over 65000 Naira? We need to fix the problem at the crux of the matter before it can even be implemented. Because at the end of the day, no matter what the Nigerian salary is, if you are not getting the essence of governance from your government, the salary is not going to be enough. Which they is why we should not be deceived at the end of the day. We find that a lot of governors just mm -hmm. before the elections in certain states, and because we know the elections are around the corner, started paying off salaries. So Nigerians should not be deceived to think that because they're paying you last minute salaries, that that is how it will be. It's such a shame that we have to wait for the elections to be drawing closer for our governors to start paying salaries. It is a shame. It shows that a lot of them are, their hearts are desperately weakened. That is what I will say. Because at the end of the day, we find out we've been talking about bailouts. Even when the federal government gave a lot of these states bailouts, more than once. 
what was done with the bailout. Mm -hmm. With the bailout regardless, a lot of them were still owing people's salaries. At the end of the day, the crime rates will continue increasing because when people are not paid, how do you expect them to feed? How do you expect them to get money to be able to satisfy their basic needs? So we're looking at payment of their salaries. We're looking at increment of their salaries. We're looking at the basic things that the average Nigerian should be able to um, access. We need to see them made available. But that falls down to federalism because at the end of the day, if we aren't getting the practice right, Everything else in the structure is not going to go to plan. 14 states cannot survive on internally generated revenue. They're looking to federal allocations in order to survive. Everyone how, going cap in hand. How Such much, a shame. How much power are we even giving to states as individual entities in themselves to begin with? How much power are we giving to them to actually start to generate revenue and create something for Which their people? Which is why states like Lagos have set, you know, they've set the standards when it comes mm. to things like this. Lagos states generate more than enough internally generated revenue without having to depend on the federal government mm -hmm. to pay salaries. Lagos Lagos State is one of the states that we know that is always forward thinking with regards to establishment, enactment of laws that will push the people of Lagos forward. But that that push... has a lot to do with our high population. Exactly. So not at the end of the day, yeah, not just the high population. I would also say those at the helm of affairs because you could have high population. Lagos State is not the most populated state in Nigeria. You could have a high population. At the end of the day, the person at the helm of affairs does not does not have the sense or does not. What, have the what brain are we saying about healthcare in Lagos do... State? Is, yeah. the is the government providing us with that as welfare in Lagos State? There is no state that has it all figured out. That's what I'm saying but we're saying so... at the end of the day, our internally generated revenue in Lagos State, for, standard, for standards, we know that salaries are not being owed. We are still not getting State. the primary essence of governance. It is literally a nationwide thing. We're not getting the primary essence of governance. Nothing else is going to work out. We need to get it right from the grassroots if we want to get it right at the top. It's okay for us to sit here and speak about the new national min minimum wage. It makes sense. No Nigerian should have to live on 19,800 naira a month. But if some people in their states are not even getting that from their governments every single month, how long are they going to wait to receive 65,000 naira? We live in a country naira? where everybody is their own government, where everybody provides the light, everybody provides their water, communities come together to fix their roads. We have individuals doing the things that the government should have done. And it's such a shame. And here on the Hello Nigeria, we're devoted to making it a wake-up call to the government every time that we can. We need to ensure that we put people at the helm of affairs, people who would understand that their mandate is to the people and would deliver on the promises being made. It's not enough to make us high, lofty promises. We want to start people, seeing people that walk the talk. It's not enough yeah. to just make lousy promises, the which is day, all we've been seeing all these years. The other day on radio with Chukudi, when we were on the Community U reports, we were focusing on security and welfare in Lagos States. Olive, if you heard the phone calls that came through of people saying, you don't know how I am suffering, of people saying you don't know the suffering that's going on in Lagos. I came here because I told life was I got told that life was going to be better. I have no welfare. I can't send my children to school. I mean, I know a certain community that had a com reported to me that their vigilantes had gone to get policemen to come and arrest some of the um, residents, saying that the residents had not paid for the monthly security bill. And I said, does it make sense that a resident is being attacked by the Nigerian police because they cannot pay security bill? What is the job That's of the Nigerian police? That's not coming from the Nigerian police. What is the job of the Nigerian police? So at the end of the day, the people provide their security by paying to the vigilante. And this is my point about the that? crossroads from the very beginning. If we continue to pay out of pocket, for the primary things that governance should provide us with, we are never going to reach a satisfactory living standard in this country. Which is That's why we I'm would saying. always say to you here on Hello Nigeria that as you get your PVCs, as you decide to vote, please do not allow your vote to be determined by ethnic or religious affiliations. Put people in office that, are, that have integrity, people that are accountable, people that you're sure will lead Nigeria to the promised land. We've had promises, we've had talk, enough of the talk. We want to see people that will do the work. And will not just promise us, but they will show us later down plans on how they achieve or how they intend to achieve these promises that they are making to us. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.